Hey everybody, this is Greg Dow of Evron Computer Systems. Thanks for joining us. This session is the second episode in a series about Evron's Canadian EFT for Acumatica. The previous episode showed Canadian EFT for accounts payable. This episode will show you how you can use Canadian EFT to receive payments too. Over the next six minutes, we will show you how to set up Canadian customers to pay you by EFT, how to process EFT for AR one invoice at a time, or in a batch, and how the system notifies your customers that you process the payment. By the end of this session, you'll know how everyone's Canadian EFT can work for your AR processes. Before we start, outside of Acumatica, you need to make arrangements with your customers for something called a PAD, or pre-authorized debit. This is how the customer tells their bank that you are authorized to proactively withdraw electronic payments from their account. So let's jump into Acumatic and see how an account is set up for Canadian EFT. Most employees work from their favorite dashboard and AR clerk is no different. These dashboard tiles each will drill down to an inquiry and a filter on that inquiry you can see there's a number that is set up here. I've made one to list companies that pay with the default payment method of Canadian EFT. So let's drill into one of those and show how they're set up. On the customer card, under payment methods, we can see there are a number of payment methods that they can use, but their default is Canadian EFT. And on that, we set up that their payment when they use Canadian EFT will go into a particular bank account and that they have their banking information set here so we know their account numbers. To transact the, uh, the AR payments with EFT, we can do that one at a time in a number of ways. First, we can go on the customer card and choose act Actions and New Payment or from the receivables menu, you can go to invoice, invoices and, menu, and memos, and you can see there's quite a number of invoices we have made to this customer. Uh, three of them are open, we can pick one. Under actions, enter a payment. We need to enter a payment reference number. You can see by the red star that this is a mandatory field. And this is now uh, pending the processing. Now, you can also process invoice invoices and memos as a batch. So we've created a process here called generate payments for EFT, where we can choose our payment method, bank account that the payments will go into, clear some other filters, and we can see there are two open invoices from the same customer here that we will process those. Click the items we want to process and hit the process button. And those are now processed in the same queue as that uh, first transaction ready to go. We'll finish this by processing all those payments that we had queued up. Again, choose our payment method and cash account. And we're going to choose the single uh, AR and then the batch AR. We're going to process all of those and take that money out of the customer's bank account and put it into ours. So now if we go to the invoices and memo screen, we can see that those items are closed and we are also able to go and have a look at those email addresses that we or emails that we had sent out to our customer.
So under our outgoing emails, you can see these two new email uh, messages have gone out with the attachments of the remittance advice so that the customer knows exactly how much money we took out of their account and for what invoices so they can reconcile uh, the transaction on their end. So quick recap, we just showed you how to set up customers to pay by Canadian EFT, how to process those payments one by one or in a batch, and how the customers are notified that the payment was processed. Now you know how Canadian EFT from Evron can work for your AR department. Keep your eyes open for our next video. We look forward to seeing you again. If this was helpful, make sure to like this video or subscribe so that you're notified the next time we post a video. And please leave a comment below about what you'd like to see next. Thanks.